Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with news of Planet Zoo because update 1.12 is coming to us at the 13th of December, which also obviously means that we will also see a new pack dropping on the 13th of December, but we don't know yet what that new pack is going to be. I am assuming that will be announced maybe tomorrow or like the beginning of next week. So stay tuned for that. I will definitely keep you guys updated as soon as I know more. But we already see a little glimpse here of something new that is coming to us with free update 1.12. Hello zookeepers, it's beginning to look a lot like a Planet Zoo update. It's time to celebrate exciting new additions coming to Planet Zoo, introducing free update 1.12 which is heading your way on the 13th of December. Keep on reading to find out what you can expect in this new update. Guided tours. It's time to give your guests the VIP treatment with the new guided tours coming. Guided tours are a brand new way to offer guests more in-depth information about your zoo and your exhibit. Tours are personal and will be conducted by an educator. They will then guide your guests through the zoo and educate them with lots of wonderful facts about your animals as well as life at the zoo. Guided tours are also completely customizable, which means you will be able to plan out your guest journeys through your park by placing tour points at desired destinations. This means guests will be specifically guided to the habitats you assigned in your tour for them to admire and the places they stop to recharge their needs. A unique and unforgettable experience each time. The VIP treatment also means more opportunities to earn additional income for your zoo. Guests will have to pay an extra tour fee in addition to the zoo entrance price and will also spend money to take care of their needs during tour breaks or after, with their desire to spend relating to how well they rated the tour as well. Now, I do have to say, I absolutely love this addition. The only thing that I do hope is that... <laughs> Like, look at this guy. I do hope that one, he's not going to walk around with this uh, this stick in his hands all the time. I mean, uh, I don't know. Other than that, I do also hope like the points that you can put in your zoo as desired destinations. I do hope they are like really tiny and not like Vista points. Like, uh, I guess we can. If they are Vista points, I guess that's small enough because you can pretty much hide them. But I, I would just like maybe a dot or anything on the floor which you can easier hide. Something like that. Nonetheless, I do really like this new addition and also that you are really able to customize these guided tours. So, uh, yeah, I'm super excited for this free update. I am really curious to see more about this one. I really do like this way of adding uh, guided tours in the zoo. And then the diorama mode. Inspired by one of our Planet Zoo community members, Rudy Rankemo, we're introducing the new diorama mode, a new type of terrain for you to create your very own dioramas. You can select this new terrain type in sandbox mode and it will provide you with a blank diorama that you're free to build upon as you'd like. You can then upload your diorama to the Steam Workshop to share it with the rest of the Planet Zoo community. I, I do really like it. I feel like it's a little bit late. I am curious how this is going to work, but like we had this diorama hype for, for a while and it was already like a year or two ago. But I like it that they added this feature. It's going to make things a lot easier. Like I remember when I built my dioramas with like the big walls in the back, like <laughs> it was kind of frustrating and looking pretty ugly with these walls. So yeah, I, I think this may be a great way to get back into uh, some diorama builds and just create something really cute and tiny in sandbox mode, which you can also share with other people without any weird, ugly walls around it. So yeah, just a cute little feature to uh, create dioramas in the game now. A new bulldozer too. We've also made removing things from your zoos a little faster by adding a bulldozer tool in update 1.12. It's now faster than ever to remove large amount of scenery, path and objects in your park. 
You also have the ability to mix and match what type of objects you want to remove with the bulldozer, combining the functionality to remove multiple types of items at once using one tool is sure to make the experience of building and rebuilding more satisfying and streamlined. Now, I honestly do hope that this includes like things as benches and bins, donation boxes, because I think right now you cannot select these with the mul uh, with like the bulldozer tool, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you can't. So it would be really nice if that would be a way to be able to, to delete that. But it's also really nice to see that you can, I, I'm assuming you can probably also select like if you want to delete only uh, construction items or maybe only nature items or maybe only like more in depth, maybe like only trees or only shrubs or only flowers. I'm not really sure if it goes that much in depth. We have to wait and see about that, but this is definitely going to be very exciting to see more about that one. Well, exciting. It's a bulldozer tool, but I think it's going to be very useful for a lot of us. But yeah, I am mostly very excited about these guided tours. I really cannot wait to see and hear more about this one and to, to figure out how this is going to work. Do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of free update 1.12. And of course, like, what are your expectations of what kind of pack we are going to see? Like I said in the beginning of this video, I think the announcement will probably be either tomorrow or like the beginning of, of next week. I kind of feel like we have not seen an animal pack for a while, so I, I tend to lean towards an animal pack, even though they're not really my favorite, but it really depends, I guess, what kind of animals would be in there. I would still love a bird's pack or like a full aquatic pack would be super amazing as well. So those are the two type of packs that I really would love to see. Other than that, we just have to wait and see. I'm just super curious, like what are your thoughts about the pack that is uh, coming up next? What would you like to see in the next pack? Do let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!